The next part is I want to talk to you about is on page 474. It's the section bottom that says declaring variables when defining the enumeration type with this. So in the enumeration type with this thing, I'm going to ask you, uh, I'm going to ask you how to declare something like this. So in here, it's grades. This is how do you declare the data type of grades A, B, and C. I can ask you to declare a certain parameter that declares uh, something like with, uh, you know, declare something coin for me. So in here, how do you declare your new data types? Know the syntax for me. Know the syntax, uh, the, the proper way of doing this thing. All right. So make sure you know how to declare variables with the same. All right. The last few questions, I got three, probably three questions. What did I say? Three questions on chapter six, and they're just really simple giveaway questions with it. Uh, going back to writing functions and, and all this stuff, if you have me for Java, I hit on this again uh, with it. So I need for you to take away on page 359, 360. If you go to page 359 and 360, uh, that I will, I want to you know, make sure you understand the function prototype for this thing. And, and understand that if you go to, hang on, hold on. <clears throat> so I, I, I want to point out this. If you please look at um, the, I want to take you, make sure you understand um, that the return statement of a value returning function can only return one value. All right. And it's the value closest to the semicolon. So make sure you understand how that actually works with it because the parameter you pass in is a function data type of a double, for example. And in here that you have is the function prototype. If you look at this function prototype as a value return because it starts out with the data type. Whatever I ask you, whatever I ask you in this, the one that's going to be returned closest to the semicolon, that's the one that's going to be returned. So I'm going to give you several statements, and then I'm going to ask you what is legal. Okay, so make sure you understand that. Uh, make sure you understand about function prototype with it, where, where to put it, and what's between your int main and your using namespace, and why you need it. Okay, and all that. So here's your regular, here's your function header plus a semicolon that actually puts it in there. Okay, this, both of these are equivalent statement, by the way. So if you look at here, there's a formal parameter, data type. So you can get away rewriting both of these things without the, without the, the, uh, the, uh, the expression with it. So I'm, that's about it. Um, and one of the things that my last question is that I, I really like for you to know uh, the definition. Um, what, what is a void? Um, a function that basically doesn't have a return type is called what? Okay, so um, if you can please just look at page 351 for me. On page 351, on top of page 351, at the beginning of this thing, right? At the very beginning of this chapter. I want to pull back this beginning of this chapter. There's a there's two very important lines on page 359, and if you understand this, uh, this will get you a long ways with this thing. So here is the beginning of the chapter. Um, I am looking for user defined function, and this is what I need for you to know. Know the definition of what a value function is. Know a definition of what a void function is. Um, you will see this again in Java if you take me for Java. So make sure you understand this, these, these two concepts for me. All right, that is about it uh, for the final exam. It is multiple choice, so it's designed to pull everything together. What do you need? What do you need to know to continue at 1437? All right, have a good evening. Bye bye.